Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur and it's one of my favorite kind of videos. We're in the garage, we're wrenching and we're doing exhaust mods with Soul Performance products. Let's go check it out. So you guys know I like my exhaust mods. I've done them on the 997 when I had the Fister mufflers on. I did them with my friend Mario's car. Uh, he had a 997 for a while. And we put the Soul Performance uh, valved exhaust system on that and the headers. Uh, with my 991, just that I got rid of recently, um, that had a full end-to-end -end Soul Performance exhaust system. The headers, the sports cats, the mufflers. It sounded amazing, absolutely amazing, and I miss that car every day. But today, we're putting uh, Soul Performance Sports Cats on the 996. Now, I've had these sitting around in the garage for like six months. So first off, Mike at Soul Performance Products, I am sorry for not doing this video sooner. Um, but honestly, I was a little bit intimidated by this job. Having done an X-pipe job with my friend Chris on his turbo recently, which was relatively straightforward, it was quite involved, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it myself. So basically, I've been procrastinating for the best part of six months. And now I'm kicking myself, because not only does it sound amazing, it was a relatively straightforward job. So that's what this video is all about. We're going to do the DIY. I'm going to take you through it step by step. We're going to take off the wheels once it's up on the lift. We're going to take off the rear bumper. We don't need to remove the tail lights like we do for the 991 or like we did for the 991. Um, I'm going to take off the heat shielding. Uh, and then I've got access to the cats. And there are essentially two bolts on each cat holding the pipes to the mufflers. And then there are three bolts holding um, the, uh, holding the other side of the cats to the headers. And that's it. We're just gonna do some unbolting, take it off, put it on, put it all back together, and then you are gonna hear the sound of that exhaust, the new exhaust in this video. But I'm gonna save the comparison for another day and another video because that deserves its own sort of preview, I guess, or premiere, I guess, uh, because I'm gonna do factory to my current setup, which is the factory cats with the Fister FD Motorsports mufflers, which sounds just chocolatey, sexy, gorgeous on its own. But now we're gonna be adding just a little bit more soul and we're gonna see how that sounds. So in that video, you're gonna hear factory, factory with Fisters, and then factory with the Fisters and the Soul Cats. Now, of course, there needs to be another video at the end of that, I guess, or another one in the future, which is then putting the Soul Performance headers on. But let's just keep it real for today with the cats, and that's more than enough work to do. So let's get it on. <laughs> Like the 991, I don't have to remove the tail lights in order to get the bumper off. I've just got one, two, three, four screws here, which are going to be, uh, well, actually, it looks like they're Phillips. They're usually T25s or T27s, but they're actually uh, Phillips. So I've got these four to remove, and then this panel, this little plate comes off, and then underneath. Uh, Underneath here, there is one, uh, and then there are a number of them underneath the bottom line, the bottom edge of the bumper, and then that's it. The bumper can just come off, uh, and then the last thing to do is just disconnect an electrical harness that basically uh, operates the, um, the lights above your license plate. Um, so that's it. With other models, like I said, you have to remove the lights, because the lights, um, certainly in the 997 and the 991, they now sort of move across this line of the bumper, um, where here, the lights are cleanly above the line of the bumper, so there are no screws behind here um, holding this on. I 
Removing the heat shielding is pretty straightforward. It's attached to this plastic. We've got a couple of, I think there are 10 or 13 millimeter screw heads there. Um, I don't think there's anything under there. Um, we've got one screw here where this piece of heat shielding along the back connects to this. We've got another screw here. I'm also going to take off this part of the heat shielding so that I can see the cats. Uh, Cause obviously I need to get the cats off the car and it's uh, of course the same on this side. So far I'd say this job is like a three out of 10 for complexity. Um, oh look, that one's not on there either. Oi. All right, let's get to it. loosening all of the bolts first. Oh, one thing. Before this video, I thought I was gonna have to take off the mufflers. Um, you don't. Turns out you don't need to bother. So that saves you a couple of hours worth of work. It really is just those three bolts, three bolts, two bolts. All right, let's get to it. Bye, all right. Before trying to take anything off, I've taken out the two nuts on the two fasteners for the, uh, for the muffler. And I think they're the only two that are holding that up, but the bolts are in place, keeping it on. Um, I've now got a bunch of other 13 millimeter bolts to start taking off. Actually, that one looks bigger than 13. That might be 16, uh, but I'm gonna work my way along here, try and loosen them up. Um, these two brackets hold the cats um, against the middle of the car at the back here. Um, these two brackets connect the cats to the mufflers and then we've got three, oops, we've got three bolts under here which um, connect the cats to the headers which then go to the engine. I've learned so much about exhaust in the last couple of years. I had no idea what all this was a while ago. So we've got the engine which then puts out the headers, the headers to the cats the cast of the mufflers and the mufflers of the exhaust sift. So let's get, let's get wrenching. garage? My name is Adam and I help you my daddy name James. Daddy's name is James? Yes. And what are you helping me with? Um. With the car? Do you like to wrench in the garage? Yes! How old are you? Four. Four years old? Yeah. And do you like working on cars like daddy does? Yes. Yeah. Okay buddy, can you show me? So I've contracted in the expert skills of Mr. Chris to get this final nut off the passenger side header, which is a real pain to get to. It's giving me flashbacks of when we took my cats off my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as it happens, now that I've removed these bolts, I figured that I actually don't need to take the muffler off because um, when you move this sleeve away, you can see that it's actually separated the muffler from the cat. Um, so I can put those two bolts back on in there, which, which are holding the cat on, uh, the, the muffler on. Um, these are the bolts here that we're, we're getting off the headers. Those three have been taken off. Just one more to go there. And then, <gasps> you did it. There Good it lad. Is. Okay, you 
guys. We've got the exhaust off. We can see uh, that there leads into the header. Um, we've got our O2 sensors here, which required a 22 millimeter wrench and quite a lot of WD-40 to loosen. Um, here we go again, O2 sensor, O2 sensor. Um, like I said, I, I thought I was gonna have to take off the muffler, um, but thankfully this time uh, is not the case. Uh, and these sleeves here um, that connect the, the cat onto the muffler, keep it all nice and tight. Um, so now it's just a question of getting the uh, Soul Performance cats on. Three bolts, two there, two there, another three there, um, and we're good to go. Well, that's it for another auto amateur video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like the little sneak preview of the sound of that new setup. Uh, another video coming soon where I show you what it sounds like from factory to adding the Fista mufflers and then adding the Soul Performance cats on the back. And you know what? I think I might just go ahead and get those headers and uh, let's just do it all. Let's just go crazy and do it all. Um, Stay tuned, uh, more mod videos and DIY videos coming up, of course, but also my friend Jay Reed and I, our friend Alberto, Michael, Richie, there's just Chris, there are loads of guys coming. Uh, we're gonna go to the Smoky Mountains at the end of September. Um, we've got three or four days worth of driving. Check out autoamateur.com if you wanna follow the itinerary. Um, if you wanna come along, it's a free event. You can just meet us there. All the details are online. And then from there, I'm thinking about going kinda back to Minnesota via New York, Connecticut, Montreal, Canada. So I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Thanks so much for checking in. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye.